This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Are you on the study committee? Four. Uh, uh, four or I say 461? Yes. Oh, a question for you. Um, 461, Section 11, seems to give, it has the words, the judge may, followed by about 10 new things the judges can do. Essentially, it's a little more complicated than that. But what are you doing to reduce judges' powers in there? Well, uh, let, me, uh, let me get my thing and I'll make sure. <laughs> okay. I should be here. Thanks. What we're doing is basically just uh, looking up basic charge on this study committee is to look at the adversarialness issue of 461. So that's kind of what we're focused on there. Yeah, I got that impression from some of what I was I was reading about it, but it is quite complicated. It took me a long time even to figure out what the numbers were. It's a very complicated subject because. Uh, by its very nature, it's adversarial, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and how do you fix that? But uh, so anyway, we're trying to come up with some issues that could be readily addressed. A lot of it is language. And this is mostly related to family court, or is it just, court. okay. Yeah. Now, you're aware of what happened over in Keene a few years back where that guy burned himself alive over family court. No. You never heard about that? I should, I guess, no. Yeah, uh, his name was Tom Ball. He burned himself to death right in front of the courthouse to, to protest this system. Wow. What are you doing to make sure that people don't want to have to do that? Well, we, we, we would hope that that would never happen again for the simple reason that uh, clearly if someone went to that extreme, there was just more than family court issues. Uh, you know, I think obviously there's some mental health issues there too. Well, I think that's what they said in the Soviet Union. When people well, were dissidents, they said they had mental health problems. But what you have here is really is, it's a court system that I think is earnestly trying to do the very best it can for its folks. And, and by definition, when you get into this, uh, there's some difficult areas, you know. Uh, the parents sometimes tend to think of themselves as winners and losers, uh, not partners in the upbringing of a child. And these are issues that we need to talk with. Um, just language changes, we might suggest, like doing away with the word primary parent and, and those type of things, uh, which make it go a little better. Uh, we're looking at the guardian ad litem issue. Uh, well, what do you mean by that? Well, right now they weren't funded, so if you're a... Wait a minute, you want more money for these people? <laughs> we're not getting any money at the moment, and that's the problem. Uh, particularly when it comes to the poor folks. You mean legitimately zero money, they're all volunteers? No, they're not volunteers, they're not funded by the state. So, mm. so basically what you have now is a two-tier system. If you have money, you can hire a guardian and light, and if you don't have money, you're out of luck. Mm. Uh, uh, I think that's a problem. We, we can uh, at least make a recommendation on this question. And we'll go from there. All right, I appreciate your transparency. Oh. What's your name? Steve Schmidt. Okay, Mr. Schmidt, thanks for your time. Okay. And you are... It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Okay. Yeah. I don't like Freedom Radio Talk. Listening to LRN FM makes me balk. Far from it, I should probably walk. LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.